Alright, so we're just going to use a normal thread. I'll just get a fair distance of it so we know we're not going to run out. Trim it. I'm going to choose my needle, like a thin long needle, it's always good. And we're going to pass the thread through the hole. So now we're going to tie the two ends together by just doing two little knots right on top of each other. Make sure they're so that it won't pass through the, um, the fabric. So that's that. And then we just cut the tail off. Right. So now we've got our thread ready. We always start at the end, and because we have our knot at the end of our thread, that's going to stop it, the thread from coming all the way through. So put your needle just into the fabric and make sure it comes out on the other side of the opening. Right. So see how that's not going to go any further? And then I always turn around my piece and work from there. So I call it a box stitch. I'm not really sure what it's called, but this is just the technique I use to close the opening on our projects. So I always try and get the thread directly across from the one on the other side and pull it all the way through. And then we just continue that so right across the other side. This will make it so that it's completely invisible. And the length I usually do is about a quarter inch so that you don't have a million little stitches to do. And if they didn't want to do this, they could also glue it closed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What sort of glue works the best? I just use fabric glue. Fabric we glue. just get it from our local store. Nothing too special. And I always do it a little bit loosely all the way. And then when I get about an inch down and I've got all these, see how I've got them loose here. I don't know, I find it just as easier to line up your fabrics on either side. And then I just pull it tightly and then they're basically invisible. So we've done all of the opening and now we're just going to make sure we tie it off correctly. So I've finished here on one side of it. I'm going to come to the other side and pick up a few threads. And once I have a little loop at the end, I'm going to put my needle through the opening and pull it tightly so it creates a knot at the end. Once that's done, and so that we don't have a little tail, I'm just going to put the needle straight through the seam of this and push it out the back so that the tail will be out here. Pull it all the way through and you can trim it. And it's all done.